Hey guys, it's me, El Senor MC, and today I'm going to bring you another bucket server tutorial. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up the server I made last time, right here. And... So... Uh, why did I open that up? Um, and I'm just going to show you something. Here, let me just... I did a tutorial and it didn't work, so I'm just going to delete what I downloaded and do it again. There we go. So, now I've got the same plugins folder. And this is a tutorial on how to download permissions for Bucket. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your favorite web browser, mine being Google Chrome, and type in the, well I'm giving you a tutorial for permissions 2.7.4 it is an inactive plugin um, but it still works and it is my favorite version of permissions it's the easiest to use and most user friendly so let's just type in permissions and you should find it it's actually the second result here, inactive admin slash dev permissions v 2.7.4 phoenix, that one. So you want to get this, click on it, and it'll take you to this page on the bucket forums. And so what you want to do now is you want to download the latest stable build. Don't download the latest dev build, stable. And the full zip is what I prefer to get because it comes with everything. So I've already downloaded it before. So I'm just going to actually go into my little downloads folder thing and get the first one that I downloaded. There we go. So you want to copy this. Right click, copy. And you want to take it into your plugins folder. Paste. And now you'll see that it also has a change log. You really do not need this, so you can delete that. But this README is somewhat important. So it just uh, open up with your notepad or WordPad or whatever. It just kind of tells you about the permissions and how it works and everything. And it gives you a little FAQ. Frequently asked questions. And, yep. So you can close that down now. And you can delete this if you want to. I'm... I'm actually going to send it to my desktop, and now I'm going to delete it. Alright, so now you have permissions.jar in your folder. So I'm going to close down this now, and you'll see here that it has a rename me file, .yml. Um, open this up with WordPad or something. It's easiest to view in that format and it will give you these groups right here so it'll give you default moderator and admins so now what you want to do with those is you want to enter yourself as one of the users so I'm gonna enter myself my username is SR Minecraft and enter a friend so I'm gonna put in penguin King 2010. He's a friend of mine. He also makes some YouTube videos. He's under the username Dizzercake. Um, and I might be doing some multiplayer let's plays with him. And so you want to make sure that your admins folder, you're part of the admins when you enter your user, but you also want to make sure that your admins is named the same way and you have the same caps, and we do. And you want to make sure your permissions is this is the little star because that gives you all of the permissions to everything in the game and I'm going to put a prefix of admin get some and that should make it say that in front of my name when I load up the server so just save this file control s or save it however you want to close it down and now you want to rename it to your world. So what's our world named? It's named Server Tut. 
So just take this. Oops. Take that. Control C. Go back into your plugins. Go back into permissions and rename it. To the name of your your world. So press enter and go back here. Click on your little server starter thing that launches pale. Oops. That should take a moment. What? No. Alright, so now it's preparing the spawn area or whatever. And once that loads up, you're looking for a little message. There, permissions version 2.7.4 Phoenix loaded. So that means that it worked. So it's done now. Now that you've got that, you can minimize this page, open up your Minecraft, and I will probably have lag. Um, it is hard for me to be doing two things on my computer and record, so we'll see how that works though. So open up Minecraft. Oh, login. I'm using version um 1.8.1, and I'm also running Optifine with it just because I like the FPS boosts. So now go into your multiplayer folder. Go to Direct Connect and type in local host join server so I'm gonna set the time time set zero oh t slash time set Zero. There we go. Yes, I know Java is using a lot of CPU. A lot of CPU. So, now all you need to do to find out whether it's working right is type. So, glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. Okay, so T slash permissions that should tell you whether you are running it right or not there we go permissions currently running version 2.7.4 phoenix reload with slash permission to reload world or leave world blank to reload default world yeah so now all you need to type is hi and it should show you your name Oh, I'm not using a chat plugin. That'll be the next tutorial. I will show you how to download and install and use iChat for buckets. So, thanks for watching this video. And I will see you for the next one. Bye.